We are back at the Campbell Park Ponds today. We have one rod with the lizard for bedfish, and then the biggie bonker once again come back into play just because it's fun. So there's a few beds we've ID'd. We'll keep our eyes open for any more, any new ones. Have more the whole day to explore. Don't have work today. So I think we might be able to make a pretty good day out of today. If not, at least it was a really nice day outside. 70 degrees, sunny, few clouds in the sky, not many. Low winds right now. It's very good. All right. We'll start here. I see a fish already. Oh, he doesn't like that. See you looking at the lizard there. Are you chasing it? Funny, huh? You think that it's annoying? There's two of you over here. Damn it. You didn't get the hook though. keeps picking it up. Let's get rid of this tail. Maybe you won't grab it by the tail. Got him. Really, really good. Hot one. Nice. I've never seen a hand catch one here. Yeah. Cool. And he broke my hook right here too. <laughs> Do you eat them or just toss them? No, nah, I toss them back. Get a little video, a little picture. I'm gonna wash them off in the water and then release them in a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a largemouth bass. <clears throat> oh, easy release. Later, dude. All right. That's one fish off a bed. Right now, it's 11.10. Do we see anything here? Okay, we're gonna do the lizard. Pretty sure there's a bed right here.
My drag wasn't tight. Still got him. Fish number two. Wahoo. A little healthier than that last one, huh? Yeah, I knew eventually. Eventually we'd get it. There we go. Fish number two. Healthy. It's peeing on me. <laughs> Yeah, let's get a weight on him. Let's get a picture first and then a weight. Yeah, they're they're guarding their beds now. I think that they must have eggs. And holy crap, my drag was completely loose on that. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I was scared. I was about to lose him for a second. I was just like, nope, keep tension, keep tension. Okay, zeroed out. He peed, so we lost a couple ounces. 2.96. That's a three pounder. It's a nice fish. And that's why you take it slow, you know? You walk slow. You observe. I've seen him swimming back and forth and I noticed he kept swimming into these reeds over here. And he got kind of annoyed with me. At least I'm right back next to his bed. I know up here there's some uh, stick piles. And if there's a bunch of bedding bass right now, there's a, a decent chance that there might be some that have pushed up to these sticks over here, so we're going to move slow, stay a little distance away from the bank, and observe while we walk. I don't know, you might be able to see the white one, but there's a giant school of carp down there. Like, huge school of carp. See, like, 15 of them. They're all big. If you want a carp video, hit that like button and comment down below. Let me know, because I would be willing to do one. Okay, Billy is still there. Jim, Billy, Bob. So the other bass on their beds have been uh, defending. So maybe he will be today too. In the past, he's just been spooky, you know what I mean? And this guy doesn't want to play, dude. on you Palmate Senor Gonna need the uh 
pliers for this one. Oh. Uh, did I leave my backpack over there? Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna call you a uh, two pounds, two and a half probably. You've been caught before, I can see. You got some hooks in the side of your face. But yeah, man, the lizard, man, it's getting him. I need to go get my backpack because apparently I left it over at the last spot I was standing. All right, bud. Go back to your bed. Let's go get my backpack before someone yoinks that, dude. Sheesh. I need to pay more attention. Getting too excited about fishing. But you know what, dude? If we got this one who's been stubborn for so long, then I think we can definitely uh, get on to uh, that bigger one on the other bed. All right, see you later, dude. Thanks for playing. Um, I'm gonna go get my backpack. Let's play the game. It's my sh yoinks. Nope, still here. Woo! I'm just glad that my backpack's still here. The most expensive thing in there is, you know, second GoPro and the GoPro batteries. So we'll just do a bit of casting here and then, since we're here already, and then we will uh, go check out that other bed that I know of. All right, let's tie a new hook on the other one and then we'll go to the next spot put a new lizard on too see you when we get there so over here there is one big bedding fish that i saw a couple days ago go check it out we're gonna go see if uh joseph bassin 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 joseph bassin is over here he was a big bonkin bass that we saw there he is yep see him right there he's a big sucker dude he's in a difficult spot too because there's sticks all around him I feel like if we got that finicky one that we just caught a second ago where I forgot my backpack to bite, the possibility of getting this guy to bite is slightly higher. Nothing's ever guaranteed, but I have a lot more confidence right now that if he was going to bite, now would be a good time to give it a shot. Swim this lizard a little closer. The line's touching him. He hit it that time. Okay. He hit it. He didn't get the hook. Okay, we're getting them annoyed, we're getting the bass annoyed.
Yeah, I didn't. Knew we'd get you, bud. Yeah, you're pretty big. Pretty nice size. Are you gonna let me take the hook out of you? Yeah, yes you are. I'm gonna guess three and a half. 3.28, 3.28, all right, three and a quarter. Thanks for playing, bud. I'll put you back on your bed. One last look at you. You got a little uh, scum thing on your head, belly. You're the first one without red eyes. So thank you for playing, bud. Later, dude. It's a lizard. The lizard is the juice. The lizard's what's getting them all to bite. Yeah, these bedding bass were just ignoring Senkos. They've probably seen so many plastic worms. And lizards are, from what I hear, notorious for eating bass eggs. So, they see a lizard and they get a little more pissed than usual. So there are bass in here. I'm sorry that I talked about this pond. I always said there's nothing here. Then I saw that guy a few days ago. Came back, the bedding fish are defending today. It's four bass in one day. Good day. <laughs> little dink it's number five it counts <laughs> I was like yeah if I catch a big one I don't know how I'm gonna get him up to catch you <laughs> what's your name Binkle Dinkson. That's your name. Okay, Binkle Dinkson. Go become somebody. So we're calling it a day. We just finished here at uh, the Percolation Ponds in Campbell. We were throwing this uh, Zoom watermelon chartreuse lizard today for the bedding fish. We got four bed fish, all above two and a half, highest being 3.3 3. Uh, 3 .3 almost. And you know, we were just throwing that lizard on their bed dragging it through a couple little pops dragging it through just kept dragging it through that bed like until they got so pissed off that they either tried to pick it up carry it and throw it or just eat it you know so four on bed the fifth fish today was uh binkle dinkson uh we got him when we were just taking a break on the pier just lazy casting doing a slow retrieve just because why not and uh, we got bit there too so that was fun 
and pretty funny. So yeah, great day here. We're gonna be doing some new exploration of new waters soon. And if you like the content, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.